Can you see me? Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yeah, we hear you and we see you. Okay, perfect. I was waiting right here. My God, it's like, um, it's haciendo un calor, pero horrible. Siento que me derrito. It's like, like paleta. <laughs> Sorry? Like paleta. Yeah, like a melted ice cream. Como un, un sorbete derretido. Así me siento. <laughs> like, oh my. Like a melted ice cream, definitely. <laughs> Um, it's warm where you are. A lot of warm, very, very hot here. It's very hot there. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah, I mean maybe it's hot. Um. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> that's that's the, um, the point. Like it's um the climate change, so and I'm pretty sure that it's hot everywhere. Um, but I, I am like with my um with my fan con mi ¿cómo se les dice estas cosas en español? Um, yes, that with a fan. Se me olvidaba cómo decirlo en español, qué barbaridad. Um and like doing the best, <laughs> literalmente, oh. eh, mi, mi, mi ventilador hace todo lo que puede, for this, yeah, right, yeah, for this climate, and how are you, how was your day, everyone, well, working hard, <clears throat> and also at home, working hard, mm -hmm. yes, did you work today from your home? Yes, in my house. Uh, when I arrived from my job, I um, I was cleaning my fan <laughs> because <laughs> it has a lot of dust. Yeah, okay. it is. Look, look at it. it's over there. Ah, oh, it's a big one. A, yeah, no, it's a little small. But yeah. it's in, in the window. Uh huh. In the window, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it looks like um, little big, little big, like poquito grande, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little. Yeah, right. Mm, el mío es uno de esos que parecen como cilindros así, y siento que no ah. abastece. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I feel like um here is so hot it's so hot and i am like trying not to melt it i feel like a melted ice cream mm -hmm. a melted lollipop como una paleta derretida un, un sorbete derretido así me siento yeah it's hot everywhere yeah it's a climate change right uh, mm -hmm. hace poquito no sé si les conté creo que fue la, la vez que vimos lo de cómo cuidar el planeta Cómo cuidar el medio ambiente, que en uno de mis diplomados nos dijeron de que se supone que para habían anticipado los científicos que la tierra se iba a calentar 1.5 grados más eh, para 2050, pero que con el cambio climático se adelantó para 2030. O sea que estamos, ahorita estamos sufriendo ese cambio drástico del incremento de, del, eh, de lo caliente. So, um, it's having a lot of consequences in the world, like um, el, el, los conflictos, eh, los conflictos, ¿cómo les diría? Internacionales, militares uh, y económicos no solamente tienen que ver con lo económico y lo militar, sino también con lo político. Y el hecho de que se acaben como los recursos o las, bueno, más bien los bienes naturales, pone en peligro la supervivencia de cada uno de nuestros países, y por supuesto hay países que, que están como listos para, para tomarse los recursos si es necesario, cuando ya estén agotados como el agua. So, mm -hmm. this is not like, um, a, like something that happens just 
for magic or something like that, sino que ella tiene toda una historia trascendental de cómo dañamos el planeta y cómo eso se ha convertido en un motivo de lucha y de guerra internacional. So, um, like, por los recursos como Rusia y Ucrania, for example, por el petróleo, right. and all of these yeah. things. Yeah, so um, th that is like about the climate change. This is over la parte del cambio climático. So I think that it's very logic that we are like in an oven right now. I feel like I am in an oven. Um, even when I have my my fan doing its best, <laughs> um, I really, um, I re I really think that this is like logic. And nothing. I hope that you you all have a fan in your homes. Yo creo que ya tener un ventilador es justo y necesario, uno para cada uno, right? Of Porque course. Si no, nos morimos de calor. Yeah. In okay. my house, there are four, four fans. Really? One and how many are in your place. in your home? Three. Three, and you have four fans. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> oh my god yeah i understand in my home we are five we're five and we have five um fans five, fun. Mm -hmm. five of it everyone has a fan because if it's not we all um feel like like a chicken in at in the oven como un pollito metido en el horno <laughs> Yeah, right. with it like this. Okay. Everywhere is very hot. Sí, yo creo usted, que dijo que, que vive, usted dijo que vive por El Salvador del Mundo. Sí. Mm -hmm. Ah, we are so near. Uh, where I live in, I don't know if you know, Residencial La Gloria. Is where, where Walmart. Yeah, of located. course. Oh my God! Do do you live in there? Yeah. It is isn't like next to the to the um to the Walmart, right? Está justo a la par. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have um one of my favorite um well one of my best friends lives in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. In my neighborhood. Yes, I I in Jardines de la Gloria, se llama. No, no, no. I live in La Gloria. Ah, in La Gloria. It's uh, like un poquito más abajo. In but the other, the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Near to in the you. last one, the last one, uh, traffic light. Ah, okay. Yeah, I I understand. I have another another friend who lives there. <laughs> ah, okay, good. <laughs> okay, I know where you said you are very close for me, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Ok, quizás por eso nos estamos muriendo los dos del calor. <laughs> ok, guys. I'm so glad to see you here again in class. We are like about to finish this module. Um, this is our 14th class. And we only going to have two more classes after that. And we're going, well, you are ready right now to do the final exam. I'm just trying to to uh encourage in this in these topics, the last topics that there is in your in your platform and that's the topics for the model. So we were watching a lot of them and I hope that you are ready for the final exam who is not complicated. <laughs> um so I I wish that you have the best of results possible. Yeah, so study, pay attention, and you're going to do it so great. And for today, we're going to continue with the topic. The topic, what we were talking yesterday, that it was future with present progressive. Um, we we were talking about it. That we said that this like a mix from the future, the simple future, and the present progressive also. And today we're going to have a little repast of it. Okay, so first of all, maybe we're going to do the reading. Okay, vamos a hacer la lectura de hoy y se los voy a presentar. Okay. Teacher. 
Sí, dígame. And I would like to know if you can help me with the, some part of the final exam because I cannot do it. I don't remember, uh, but it's uh, number five. Yeah. Okay, uh, again, again, again. Hay una parte que no puede hacerla. Yes. Porque no la entiende. Correctly. Uh -huh. Okay, ask to me about it. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que le pide? No me aparenta. La he puesto de diferentes formas y siempre me parece mal. Ok. Yeah. No sé si la puedo poner en el chat ahí. Voy a tratar de ver. Um, you can send it to the WhatsApp group. Tal vez la puedo ver ahorita. Ya la envié. Este, un día de esto. Let me see. Ah, el suyo es el último mensaje. Dice, we like how to put the words in the correct order. Y no ha dejado un espacio. You there? No sabe si puede yeah. ser como que haya dejado un espacio entre las letras, porque yo lo veo escrito bien. No, es que no, yo solo envié la captura, no le había sí, puesto. Sí. Lo veo, es la, la que dice like to have y la que dice love to travel, right? No, no, no es eso. No es eso. No, lo voy a enviar a, ahorita otra vez al chat. Ok. Pero igual si nos puede ayudar con esa de, de, de low to travel porque lo ponemos así y no aparece y no sale mala. Así veo, pero sí es love to travel. I love to travel in Europe. I love to travel in Europe for a while. No le veo lo malo. Esa específica le sale mal. Solo esa. Nos sale eh, también la de like y have, que es, que dice we, a barbecue on the beach. We like to dice have a like, have. Entonces ahí no, también nos, me sale mala, o sea, ya lo puse en las mil formas y no, ya lo puse con puntos, con comas, sin puntos, nada. Ok, um, I don't know what's the problem with this, porque yo lo veo bien escrito. Si sí es, we like to have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. Está bien. No, no esa, eso que está diciendo ella, eh, me recuerdo que es, I would like, I would, lleva antes, I would. Les no, pide que utilicen. No lo pide, pero sí, a mí así me lo aceptó. Mi <risa> no recuerdo. Adivinando. Oh my God. Ok. Ahí le acabo de ver la, la captura yeah. del, del mío, el problema. Yes. Ok, meet me after class. Will you ask? Can that the test on Thursday? Uy. Meet the class of today. Will you ask? I'm really not sure. De hecho, no entiendo cuál es la indicación aquí. Sí, igual well, yo no entiendo. Porque recuerdo que ha sido el ejemplo, dice, del primero, pero no lo entiendo. Que que tiene que ordenar las oraciones. A mí solo la primera me salió buena. Sí, eh, solo es. Tiene que ordenar las oraciones. The eh, test on Thursday... En realidad no entiendo cuál es la pregunta. Pretende las oraciones. Porque no veo que tenga algún... Algún... Alguna pregunta. Dice que ordena las oraciones, dice, pero que no comience desde los primeros, sino que desde el nombre, dice. Adelante, dice, pero de ahí no sé cómo... 
Yo tendría que ordenar. En esa parte arriba ponen un ejemplo de dos opciones que se tienen que elegir, pero igual a mí solo la primera me salió bien y las demás me salen mal, pero no. O sea, aunque usted trate de colocarlas de las dos formas que pone el ejemplo, no le salen bien. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, Gracias. y el ejemplo les da, perdón, el, el, el ejercicio les da ejemplos. El primero que sale ahí. El ¿sí? primero. Ahí en la escritura que le envié, sale el primer ejemplo. Ah, ese es el de quién da the test on Thursday. Can the test on Thursday? Meet me after class. Will you ask? I don't understand what it, they are asking for. En la última imagen que le enviaron aparecen los dos ejemplos. Y en la primera es el segundo ejemplo que está bien. Ah, ese es otro que me enviaron. Ok. Dice, come to the picnic on Saturday. Please ask Paula, come to the picnic. Ok, pero ¿cómo sabíamos que se llamaba Paula? Está entre paréntesis el nombre. Ah, ok. Es que no, no me mandan como todo el cosito, entonces no entiendo. <ríe> Solo veo es como... En oración, en oración eh, dice que se tiene que usar el nombre que es en paréntesis formando una de las dos oraciones que ponen de ejemplo. Ah, ok, ok, ok. El teacher no tiene acceso a, la, a eso. En realidad yo no tengo acceso directo al, al, a la guía de ejercicios. Mm. Quiero ver. The test me after class. Will you ask Alex? Supongo que esa persona. Meet me after class today. Intentaron ponerle Alex me, meet me sin el tú. After class today. Marcus, there's a volleyball game tonight. Could you tell Marcus there's a volleyball? Sí, para mí están bien. O sea, según yo lo veo, están bien. No sé por qué estarían mal. Volleyball game tonight. Could you tell Marcus there's a volleyball? Sí, así tendría que ser. No entiendo por qué les aparece que está mal. No, no le veo, no, no le veo el por qué estaría mal. Y si intentan poniéndole el A en la segunda, quitándole el tú, después con Alex, like, will you ask Alex meet me after class? Sin el tú. Will you ask Alex meet me after class? Y en la siguiente de Marcus, no le encuentro qué es lo que está mal. Porque dice, could you tell, Marcus supongo que es la persona entre paréntesis, there's a volleyball game tonight. Está bien. No le veo. Otra cosa que menciona ahí que es que podemos colocar las mayúsculas también si es necesario. El punto o el signo de interrogación. Es decir, es necesario. Ok, ¿y si le ponen punto al final? Tal vez sea eso. Porque con la 3, bueno, a la 1 le podría quitar el tú, pero a la 3 no le veo que pueda tener mal. Um, había alguien que había terminado el examen, ¿no? Um, Vicente. Vicente. Vicente, ¿you there? Yeah, yes, Vicente, I'm here. Finish. But they don't want, he don't want to help. Y nos está escuchando aquí partirnos la cabeza, vea. Exactly. I, I hear the dialogue. You were only taking notes, like a poor, poor classmates, poor teacher. They don't understand. No, no. no. because I, I have to uh, leave uh, the, the soon and and come back to the um, platform mm -hmm. because um, I don't know I, I, how I can go to the platform. With the link? Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh -huh, I will try. Same. 
as you can see, like what did you that did what did you put in your in your exercise? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Porque no le encontramos qué es lo que está mal. Yo veo Give bien la pregunta. Give me some minutes. I will check. Give me some minutes. I will check. I don't okay, know. try to check. Voy a ver si yo encuentro algo. Pero es que de verdad yo veo bien mm -hmm. estas preguntas. Let me check. Because I'm not in your WhatsApp group yet. So I can't, I can't see the exercise. Oh my God, that's the, I, I don't know if we can send it like for right here. Creo que no puedo. Um, Which is the exercise? It's the one who says, can the test on Thursday um, is at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. No, um, let's see. It's about the final exam. Final? Yeah, it's the last part. Read the article. Okay, let's see. Will you ask Alex meet me after class? Could you test, tell Marcus there's a ball? The test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Please tell Ken. Is that one? Yes. No. The, the, yeah, please tell Ken the test on Thursday is at 1 p.m. Esa es la primera y está bien. La segunda y la tercera es la que no sabemos por qué están mal. Ah, okay, let's see, I, my option is in the number two, Alex to meet me after class today, and uh, at the end is a uh, question mark. Question mark? Mm hmm Okay, so can you try it with that, guys? Con el simbolito de, de la pregunta. Alex, to meet me after, after class. class today. Ajá. And question mark at the end. Ok, porque es ask. Uh -huh. Yes. Ahora sí. Yes. Ok, the third one. The third one is, uh, Marcus, there is a volleyball game tonight, tonight and question mark at the end ah that's what you that's what? You, you're, you were missing del el signo de preguntas lo que se les estaba olvidando cuando utilizamos um, like um ask if there was a question mm -hmm. yes and the number four uh huh. Th that it's okay. It's Paula ah, okay. to come to. Please ask Paula to come to the picnic on Saturday with the with the sign. Right. Yeah. But the end at the end only has a period. Only a only what? Only period. Period. Like no question mark. No, hay que ponerle marca. Solo un puntito. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can you can do it right now, guys. Ya que nos dieron por aquí la copia. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Yeah, Thank no, you. pero es que yo sí los veía bien escritos, por eso es que no entendía, pero ya me di cuenta que no es porque estuvieran mal escritos, sino porque eh, les hacía falta el signo de pregunta al final. Um, pero de que estaban bien escritos, estaban bien escritos. Thank ya, you, Vicente. No, no, no. You're welcome, friend. Thank you, Vicente. Don't worry. Ya, Ya decía yo que yo por más que le daba y yo no le veía lo raro, ¿no? O sea, no, no se me decía que estuvieran mal escritas. Para mí tenía... Si alguien las pudiera mandar al chat, porfa, es que ahorita estoy con una super migraña y solo estoy escuchando, pero no puedo ver la luz del teléfono. Uh -huh. Creo que las mandaron si alguien... allí. Eh, la última que dice eh, de alguien que es 
PLRR. Esas mismas, solo que en las dos que salen mal, pongan la signo de interrogación al final. Exactamente igual como están ahí, solo que pongan el signo de interrogación. De, per de pregunta, perdón, de pregunta. Pues ah, ya les mandaron. Okay, gracias, gracias. Ajá, ahí con, y con las otras dos que yo tenía la duda del, del, del que solo eran dos que era tu travel y la otra, no me recuerdo. Ajá. Ah, ese también le vamos a preguntar a Vicente, porque yo las veo bien. ¿Cuál es el ejercicio? Is el like último, the, put ejemplo. the words in the correct order. Ah, uh, let, let me see. Ajá, dice, uh, complete las conversaciones, use de forma correcta los verbos. Deben leer detenidamente para saber la forma correcta de los verbos. Ajá. Let me check. People, the correct word. Put the words in correct order to make sentences. Mm -hmm. Complete the conversation. Use the correct form of yeah. the verb. Read each one carefully so you get an idea of the form of the verb you need to use. Is that one? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, sería la, la four and six. Ajá, uh -huh, la cuatro y la seis. Que dice like to have. We like uh -huh. to have a barbecue. Would we'll like to have is would we'll like to have. Ah, pero no es este. Espérame, vamos a ver. Listen to the telephone conversation. Check the correct information. Uh -huh. uh, no es este, ¿verdad? ¿no? ¿Ah? no, no. Es la que dice, put Anterior. the words in the correct order to make sentences. Y le da, la primera dice, what do you plan to do tonight? I want to stay home. There is a soccer match on TV. What are you and Dave going to do tomorrow? Aparece en el del final, ¿verdad? Yes, final exam, little B. A literal B del final exam, dicen. We would like to have a barbecue on the beach. Yeah, I think it's we would like. We would What like to have. Try it with that. Traten con ese de would like. Y en el último también, I will love to travel. Or... Sí, porque a mí con ese me lo acepto. Con el would. Would. Yeah. We will like. Mm -hmm. yeah. We will like to mm -hmm. have a barbecue on the beach, but it may rain. Porque está hablando de que si usted dice I like, es como nos gusta tener una barbacoa en la, en la playa. Pero en realidad está hablando de que algo que le gustaría hacer, pero no se puede hacer porque puede que llueva. So we would like. I would like let, to have. Letter B is. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yo le puse. Um, we would like to have. Okay, wait, wait we, a minute. Wait a minute. Permítame un momentito. Ahí les mandé al chat, pero me sale mal, aunque le ponga we would like to have. Pero we, we... we... Ah, no. Yo creo que debería quitarle el... el we. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, quitarle eh, el we. Would like. Ajá, would like to have. Y en la última también tal vez es would love to travel in, in Europe for a while. Like, I will, but no ponga el I. Ajá. Ya, ya, ya. Hoy sí, ya me salieron bien. Ahora sí. Yeah, <laughs> I sí, we did it. Thank you. <laughs> a pleasure, a pleasure. Okay. We you did got it. it. You got it. <laughs> Sorry? You got it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Vicente, for your, uh, for your help. And the okay. other ones, you too. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like trying to to know what what it's grown but nothing 
pero ajá, creo que por la, la, la estructura de la oración le hacía falta el would. Ok, so, ¿hay alguien más que tenga alguna pregunta del final exam? Se la resolvemos ahorita. No, everything is okay. No. So you already finished the, the section number five? Yes, we yeah. are ready to start the class now. Yeah, it, it go, it's going to be a really short class, but we're going to have the reading. El reading es lo que les quería poner. Yes, estaba buscando aquí si había algo que tenía que ver con eso. No, it's it's like that. It's here. Okay. So we're Don't going mistake. to we're going to talk about can I take a message? And we're going to read a little conversation between the Mr. Kale, who is um I don't know, maybe the boss in at the at the industry, and there is the secretary. So I would like to have two volunteers to help me to read here. Raise your hand. Vicente, okay. The guy, Vicente, you're going to the be... guy look like boss. Okay. So Edwin is going to be the secretary and Vicente is going to be Mr. Kale. Mr. Kale. Mm -hmm. Go, okay. Guys. Okay. Uh, good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Mrs. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a mes message? Message? ¿Cómo se dice? Message. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, this this is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K L. Uh, uh, sorry, K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting in is on Friday at 2.30 p.m. Uh, Friday at 2.30? 2.30, right. Um, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is, okay, it's very small, <laughs> sorry. Um, six, uh, Six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Uh, six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Mister K. It's give Mister Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yay. <laughs> Okay, that was like a, a call between the secretary and this Mr. Kale. Uh, the pointer was like giving a message because the person um, she wants to talk about isn't there. So they are like um, giving information like what's his name, like it's Kale and no Gale. Um, so it's important like um, like to learn how to... to um, I like the ABC and the numbers, of course, because you are going to use it with this. So this is like, can I take a message? Okay. And uh, well, first of all, do you have any questions about it? No, it's okay. No. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to show you my screen and... Help me to read. Me avisan cuando la puedan ver. Yes, we can see. Okay, so we're going to have a little review after the speaking activity. This is like, me, menos mal que ya habíamos visto el grammar focus, así no vamos a tener que sobre explicarlo. Pero quiero una retroalimentación. So tell me, what do you remember about the yesterday grammar focus that is future with present continuous? What is it? Or why do we use it? Uh, when we are 
going to make an activity in the future. In the future, we're gonna use a uh, present continuous. Okay. Yeah, for things that we are going to be doing in the future. Right. right? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. It's like a mix for the simple view, the, sorry, the simple future with going to and the present continuous. Les quiero decir que también se puede utilizar con will. Um, aquí específicamente el grammar focus solo lo utiliza con to be. Pero también podemos decir, I will be dancing, for example, estaré bailando. I will be dancing. I will be driving all the week. Estaré manejando toda la semana. Yeah. You can say it like that, and when and um, it's like the same that you know. Es lo mismo eh, que going to es para cosas certeras y will para probabilidades. So that's the 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 same. That's the same. That journey um at the present continues then. Okay, that's a meet between it. So we saw the uh, we saw the the um, structure that is with be going to plus verb right like. I am going to work. Uh, I am going to be working tomorrow. I am going to, what are you going to do in tonight? What are you doing tonight? Okay. So I I need, if you have any questions about it. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta sobre esto, Edgar? Yes, I would like to know if you. Sorry. Uh, uh -huh. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, if we, we can use uh, in that way, I'm going to, I'm gonna, what is she gonna do? It's the same thing. Gonna is like uh, una manera informal de decir going to. Um, yeah. Digamos que es como una manera de acortarlo. Acortar. Uh, it's correct hago. use. Sí, es correcto, pero es informal. Ok, por ejemplo, es algo que usted podría utilizar con sus amigos. Por ejemplo, sí, hablando con su mamá o su papá o sus amigos, like, um, I'm gonna be waiting for my class this night. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, gonna, like, gonna or wanna, for example, wanna, que es la contracción de one, two. Yeah. It's ok, uh -huh. pero es informal. Así que recuerden eso que no lo pueden utilizar como con cosas... Por ejemplo, si va a pedir un trabajo. An interview. Ajá, una entrevista. You are going to have an interview. Mm -hmm. You're, you need to use like going to as it because if you say gonna, they are going to see you like como si les estuviera hablando um, <laughs> super feo, pues. <laughs> Así like que sin script. respeto. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's like. Not polite. Not polite. Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you. Okay, a pleasure. So, you do you have any questions about it? No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so we're going to. Ay, se me tramo otra vez. We're going to do the speaking activity. And this is like the com complete the invitations in column A with the present continuous use as future. Okay, in column B, we're going to. Um, well, quiero saber si este ejercicio lo hicieron en la plataforma. Uh, sí. No eh, aún. Eh, sí, que sí estaba en la plataforma. Pero sí está. Ah, okay. Si está mejor, no la vamos a hacer. Yeah, that, um, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Mejor pasemos al siguiente. So, we're going to tell me. Five things you are going to do in the next vacations. At least five things, okay? Al menos cinco cosas que planean hacer las siguientes vacaciones. Que planean que van a estar haciendo, remember. You are going to be doing. Que van a estar haciendo. So. Five example. At least. Al menos okay. cinco. Yeah. And try to add uh, some negatives. Y traten de agregar algunos dos negativos, okay? So I'm going to put you into the break cup rooms. And you know what to do. Create your sentences, socialize your examples, and then you're going to tell me about it, okay? 
So here we go. You can get into the breakup rooms. Get into the breakup rooms, please.
Ay, qué mala, man, mala maña mía de tener el micrófono apagado. Que okay, we're all getting back right now. Okay, I think we are all here again. Yeah, yes. Okay, so what happened with the with the exercise? Did you do it right? Did you have enough time? Yes, no. You there, can you hear me? We come yes. back. Yes. We finished already, yes. but... Sorry? Eran cinco oraciones con going to. Sí, con um, simple future with present progressive. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, of course. Okay, so who wants to um, tell me the exercise? Mm hmm Me, teacher, I have my sentences. Okay, tell me. Okay, the first one. I will be painting my house. And the other one, number two, I'm going Which to... color? <laughs> Maybe green. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, number two, I'm going to visit my family. Number three... I'm not going to ride a horse. Number four, I'm going to, I'm not going to cook. Okay. Number five, I will not be working. And the last one, I will be watching TV. You will be watching TV, okay? That's a really good one. Okay, that's nice. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. guys. Um, I think it was like a really um, re uh, a really easy, easy exercise. So I need to to ask to you if you have any more questions. No more. No more. No more was was easyissimo. <laughs> Fácil, it was easy. Like a easy peasy. Easy peasy. <laughs> easy. Okay. Easy peasy. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> okay, so nothing. If you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. See you. Okay. Bye. See you, Peter. Have a good night. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. Good night, everyone. It's raining right now. Bye. Okay. Excellent.